All right, YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney and we have to talk. Uh, we do, we do have to talk because I have seen this for almost a decade now, over and over and over again. And recently I've seen it posted kind of repetitively on uh, Reddit reform work. Not on Reddit anti-work because, I don't look at Reddit anti-work because I don't think they have the best ideas. But I, I do think Reddit reform work has all the best ideas. The best you're ever going to find. Everybody's going to love them. Ask anyone. Everybody loves them. Uh, but no, but seriously, I think Reddit reform work is like a meaningful, important thing that matters. It really, really could matter. It could give a national bent to kind of our uh, discussion about workplace reform. It could act as a lightning rod and an organizing platform. And I think Reddit reform... Or, yeah, Reddit reform work is very, very important. However, and this is not a criticism of Reddit uh, reform work, but I see a lot of posts on there specifically about, oh, don't bother bringing an age discrimination claim. Those never win. It's like, well, uh, you can look at any federal docket and find hundreds, if not thousands, of examples per docket in all the federal courts, in all the land, uh, of successful age discrimination claims. Not for nothing, my firm brings many of those claims. <laughs> Quite successfully, right? I mean, uh, we spend a lot on those cases. If we weren't winning them, we would just be throwing money away, right? So when you go on the internet and you post things like oh, discrimination cases never win. Like you, you have no idea. You don't know anything about age discrimination cases. You're just saying something because you're feeling some kind of way, but it's not really based in fact. Like, listen, I'm not here to say age discrimination claims are slam dunks that always win. No. There's no case in employment law that is a slam dunk. Any attorney in this field who tells you you have a no risk case or a slam dunk is simply a liar and and is probably a bad person, right? There's only there's only two ways that can go. If they're telling you you have a slam dunk case, they're either a moron or a liar. Either option is not great for you as a potential client, right? But that being said, I mean, age discrimination claims are very successful and are one of the more valuable forms of discrimination to bring a claim on the basis of right now, uh, often because the damages associated with age discrimination can be higher for a couple different reasons, like the argument that this person may never work again because what you did to them because of their age, they might have a tough time finding comparable employment that pays in the same range. Also, the older employees tend to earn more, which adjusts the damages on a discrimination case upwards. Very important to know. It's very meaningful, right? So, listen, it's okay to not know things. I don't know many things. I know fewer things than I don't know. You could make a convincing argument that I'm not very bright, but here's what I do know. I know that when you tell people age discrimination claims never win, and that statement you're making is not based in fact, you're hurting people because that's going to possibly convince someone with a very viable age discrimination claim to not then bring that claim against their employer. And what does that do? Keeps that person from having a chance to win money, keeps the wrong from being potentially righted, keeps the employer from getting smacked around for what they did, and all of those things are bad things. So maybe don't post, if, if you care about employees and you care about reforming the workplace, and all of these things. Um, don't post misinformation, knowingly or otherwise. Like even if it's just a mistake, like you thought, you thought age discrimination claims never win. Okay. 
well, you're mistaken, but but also, did you ever stop to think why you thought that? Like, what are you basing that on? That's important. Think before you post, right? Um, it just doesn't really make sense. And people are going to be like, oh, Vince, you just want people to bring age discrimination claims so you can make more money. Yeah, but also that's that's to my point, right? Like, yes, I want to help those people because if I help those people and only if I help those people, I then earn money, right? So like inherent in that, think about this. Inherent in that, we lose money on the case if we don't win. Do you see where I'm going with this? If we don't believe age discrimination cases win, can be won, have a high likelihood of recovering monetary awards, then when every time we bring them, we're just throwing money away like idiots. You can certainly argue I'm an idiot, but I do not throw money away. People get very mad at me when I say, listen, I believe you. I just, I don't think I can win this case. And I can't, I can't invest in a case I don't believe I can win. Because if I do, my firm won't exist next year, right? That's very meaningful. If I think age discrimination cases are worth bringing, it means we, we help people because helping people is the only way we make money. All right. I mean, this, this matters like this. You really, you got to stop just running your mouth, vomiting nonsense. If you don't know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to not know things. What's not okay is to get really mad and like fight on the internet and like promote an idea that harms people that has no real veracity to it. That, and, and like your claim is that you care about workers, but you're harming workers because your like ego is hurt because you got called out for making up some information on the internet. Uh, like and subscribe helps me to help more people just like you. I think I fixed the lighting here in uh, this lovely space. And... Uh, well, comment down below. Tell me, tell me why you think age claims don't don't win. Tell me, please. I want to have this discussion. I need to know. I need to know. Take care.